She was afraid to even ask of herself the silent question, is this all? Yes, I have a roof over my head, a healthy family, <laughs> and children. Surely there must be more to this life. And so the problem that has no name, as Frieden put it, was born, and with it modern feminism. Oh, God. Fast forward 46 years to the beginning of the 21st century in the, in the United States. There's a new generation of women my age who, while shoveling the, the Cub Scouts and Brownies, have silently watched out-of-control government spending, massive deficits left for our children, bailout after bailout of, of bankrupt industries, shady deals with to win health care votes, and ethical and moral lapses from all types of politicians. Those women who have all asked the question, is this all, and not liking the answer, they are running for office. And have yet to succeed. <laughs> And voters, also not liking the answer, are voting for them. No, they are not. <laughs> Unless they're women themselves. Um, for more than 150 years, the women's movement in, in America has been advocating for more women in, in public office, and they've been right. Women have a unique perspective. Yeah, shitty. Typically... <laughs> it's time, <laughs> not mine! Typically, they are less ambitious for superficial power than men, and more focused on providing for the needs of others. I think we appreciate, more than some men, the fullness of American life. Everything from raising decent kids to protecting our national security. If I do say so myself, most women have the stamina for endless multitasking and the ability to, to bring about con consensus on tough issues. And we're not afraid to work hard and get our hands dirty. Yes, you are. Well, not all of you, but lots of you. We're busy enough to know that time must be spent, spent efficiently. In fact, we're too busy to waste time with tough, with typical political games and power struggles. One of my personal heroes and former British Prime Ministers, Mar Margaret, oh God, this again. Margaret Thatcher. Okay, her life and career serve as a blueprint for overcoming the odds and challenging the status quo as a woman. She started life as a grocer's daughter in a small English town, living above the store with her sister and parents. From these humble beginnings, she went on to Oxford and a seat in Parliament. In the 1970s, she was Secretary of State for Education and Science in a conservative bloody bloody fucking blah. You have to read it. You want to take over. Nah. Okay. She was the Secretary of State for Education and Science in a conservative government that sold out virtually all of its free market principles. Discussed she ran for the Conservative Party leadership in 1975 and became the first woman to lead a Western political party and the first female leader of the opposition in Parliament. From there, all that was left was the Prime Ministership itself. She served as British Prime Minister for more than 11 years, from 1979 to 1990, the first woman to lead a major Western democracy. Um, you know, uh, this might just be uh, semantics, but I thought the United States was considered the Western world. Yeah. Um, and Margaret Thatcher's in the United Kingdom. Um, that's... The, people call that West, too, because it was West before we were West. Fair enough. In addition to being Prime Minister, she was a wife and mother. How can there be a West and an East if we're circular? Good question. <laughs> Let's move on. But isn't it just the series of firsts that Mark that Lady Thatcher represents as a woman that draws me to her. She she's a truly transformative figure. Er, she became the leader of Great Britain at a time when that country was on the verge of bankruptcy, mired in unemployment and, def and deficits at home, and cowering before the Soviet bear abroad. I remember first hearing Miss Thatcher speak when I was in high school. I was amazed. I had rarely heard a, heard a political figure, and never a female one, speak with so much conviction and so much moxie. Her message was one that America could use today. It is sometimes said that because of our past, we, as a pe people, expect too much and set our sights too high. Yes, we do. That is not, not the way I see it. Rather, it seems to me that throughout my life in politics, our ambitions have steadily shrunk. Our response to disappointment has not has not been to lengthen our stride, but shorten the distance to be covered. But with confidence in ourselves and our, in, in our future, what a nation we could be. If spending money like water was the answer to our country's problems, we would have no problem right now. <laughs> Sounds like America. 
If ever a nation has spent, 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 and spent again, ours has. Today that dream is over. All of that money has got us nowhere, and it still has to come from somewhere. Those who are just to, re to relax the squeeze, to spend yet more money ind indiscriminately in the belief that it will help the unemployed and small businessmen, are not... Relax the squeeze? Is that a euphemism? Because I'm, I'm gonna refuse... I refuse to get it. I refuse to get it. Well, I, I could explain some things about sex here, but that would be inappropriate for our viewers now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Where was I? Um, are not being kind or compassionate or caring. They are not the friends of the unemployed or the small business. They are not asking us to do, again, the very thing that caused the problems in the first place. We have made this point repeatedly. I am accused of lecturing or preaching about this. Yeah, a little bit. I, I suppose it Just is... a little. <laughs> I suppose it is Crick's way of saying, Well, we know it is true, but we have to carpet something. Yeah, you, you, you kind of you kind of do. Critics, critics. I do not care about that, but I do care about the future of free enterprise and the jobs and exports it provides and the independence it brings to our people. To those waiting with bated breath for those for that favorite media catchphrase, the U-turn, I have only one thing to say: you turn if you want to. The lady's not for turning. I think that's a complaint. <laughs> And no, we're not going to look at the pictures. I don't care. No photos, please. <laughs> no, no pictures. No pictures. No, just, just hold on. I need to borrow this for a moment. Just to, just need to get this out of my system. Get out of here. I don't want to see ah, you. Ah, the page. I need to read that. <laughs> uh, I think he's having fun with this. Okay. We're, we're good now. Okay. Moving on! Oh, by the way, that complaint is still from Lady Thatcher. She put it in her book. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not taking it back. We're, okay, we're back to Palin. The lady is not... She... That was her! No, no, no. This is, this is Lady Thatcher. You see how it's shorter? The margins are shorter? It stopped right there. Margins are shorter. No, they're the same. Also, quotation mark. Where, wait, where did the start of quotation mark? Exactly. Horse still stands. Horse. The lady is not returning. If we if we weren't taken already, wouldn't every woman want to make that the title of her memoir someday? I I, I don't think that's what she meant. I I think it was a. A meta metaphor, you know, you know, fuck you, Palin. <laughs> what a lady, what a leader. I cherish Marcus Thatcher's example and will always count her as one of my role models. Of course. It's only like, this is only like the 15th time you've quoted her. <laughs> I am Don't not forget a... Ronald Reagan. She mentions him next, doesn't he? Yep. <laughs> I am not alone, of course. Ronald Reagan considered Thatcher his closest ally abroad and relied on her advice at many points. And it was Thatcher who famously said to George H.W. Bush during the first Gulf War, Don't go wobbly now, George. Yeah, that, that's some great advice there. That, th there was a woman to reckon with. Sure. The tragedy of contemporary American feminism is that it, it's had the example of Margaret Thatcher to put forward as a model for over three decades now. Yes, that is a problem with it. And yet, feminists have championed a very different type of female leader. Oh, no. Okay, fine. I thought you were going a different direction. Modern fe feminism's idea of a real woman isn't so much a woman as a liberal. she taking that direction? I... He... Yes. Real women must, must be in favor of government-run health care. Oh, I real both times um, of restricting Second Amendment rights. What's Time out. Second Amendment rights are the right to bear arms. Since when do Republicans want to take that away? Since when does he? I think it's only conservatives and Democrats that want to take that away. She's talking about liberals here. Liberals don't do that. 
Liberals are like, okay, go ahead and have your gun. Just don't use it on me. No, that's the conservatives. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Something wrong here. It's it's since when have they been? Since when have the Republicans been like we need to limit the right to bear arms? They're like, I want my semi-automatic rifle. I need it for protection <laughs> in my suburban home. And hunting. Can't forget hunting. Of course. <laughs> hunting humans. Yeah. Of current of curtailing free speech in universities and in political campaigns, and you were pointing at me. No, no, no. Keep okay. going. And other liberal causes. In the name of liberating women, modern feminism has wrapped us in in a one size fits all straitjacket of political correctness. I hate political correctness. Mm. And fuck you too. This liberal I ideology is so sacrosanct among feminists that they, that they label women who don't agree with them as not real women, quote-unquote. Typical was a remark by, by Democrat Tennessee lawmaker complaining that Republican women in the state legis legislature don't share her liberal views. She snarked, you have to lift their, stir their skirts to find out if, if they are women. That don't, that don't prove nothing nowadays. <laughs> Sad but true. These critics either need a lesson in, in autonomy, or anatomy. A, anatomy, or a guide to contemporary politics. Today's self-proclaimed feminists have, more than once, accused me of not being a real woman, quote-unquote, because I don't share their leftist views. The, sa the same sort of insults are hurled at black conservatives like Clarence Thomas and Thomas Sowell, who don't view themselves primarily as victims as ra of racism. Probably because it's not an issue of race. But, but it, but it's actually the liberal women's women's groups that have little in common with the majority of American women. Most women love their families and, and cherish motherhood, but all too often the leaders of the modern, modern feminist groups seem disdainful of traditional family life and the joys and fulfillment that we find in motherhood. Remember Hillary Hillary Clinton's famous rant. When her husband was running for president, that she that she wasn't, in her words, some little woman standing by my man like Tammy Winnett. Who the fuck's Tammy Winnett? Who cares? Hillary is someone I like and admire personally in many ways. No, you don't. <laughs> but she came across then as someone frozen in, in an attitude of 1960s era bra burning militancy. She told us in no uncertain terms that she. <coughs> excuse me. Could have stayed home and baked cookies and had teas. Ooh, cookies! But preferred to pursue her serious career. Well, Hillary, many of us wanted to say at the time. Oh dear God. Some of us like to bake cookies. I do. Some of us also think we can do that and still have sex successful careers, especially if you're in the cookie baking business. And, and most of us don't think we have to run down, run down stay-at-home moms in order to make ourselves feel good about our choices. And some of us can have our own reality television show and still have a successful political career. It was successful. No! I'm not <laughs> letting that go. And no. It wasn't. Are you having fun yet, by the way? Isn't this book just wonderful? Yeah, that's exactly the word I'd use. <laughs> yep. Aren't you glad you hosted now? <laughs> Hey, no problem, not mine. Horrors. What? Your you? mother. I've been doing this for almost 30 minutes. <laughs> you can keep going, I don't care. If you wanted to take over, I'll let like you. I'll just take a nap or something. What are you doing? Checking how long this chapter is. Yeah, finish the <laughs> chapter. Have fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've got a better idea. What? Uh, one sec. There it is. Where's what? Ah, you fucker! I swear to God. What? You'll do what? I don't think you'll do anything. I'm just... I'm just... Bye! What? Bye! What? Relate what? yourself! No! You... Get back here! I swear, I need better friends. <laughs>